Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir E.G. and welcome to another math tutorial. In today's lesson, we will be discussing all about arithmetic needs. So before we start our lesson, let us define first what is arithmetic means. So when we say arithmetic means, these are the terms between any two non-consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence. So we will also use the formula of the arithmetic sequence, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times the common difference, wherein a sub 1 is the first term, n is equal to the number of term, a sub n is equal to the n term, and d is equal to the common difference. So these are the steps in solving the arithmetic mean. So the first step is to identify the number of terms in the arithmetic sequence. And then after that, using the formula of the arithmetic sequence, solve for the value of the common difference. And then the third step is to get the value of the missing term and add the common difference and the value before the missing term. So let's have our first example. Insert 6 arithmetic means between 5 and 61. So we will insert 6 blanks between the numbers 5 and 61. And then after that, we will identify the given a sub 1 is equal to 5, the value of our first term. And then a sub n will be equal to 61, the value of our last term. And then n, so to get the value of n, we will count the number of terms. So this will be the first term. 5 is the first term. This one is the second term. This one is the third term. Fourth term. Fifth term. Sixth term. Seventh term. And 61 will be the eighth term. So n will be equal to 8. And then after that, we will solve for the value of the common difference. We will use the formula of the arithmetic sequence a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times the common difference. And then we will substitute the value. a sub n is equal to 61 equals the value of the first term which is equal to 5 plus quantity n which is equal to 8 minus 1 times the common difference or d bring down 61 equals 5 and then 8 minus 1 will be equal to 7 d and then after that 7 d bring down bring down 61 and then 5 transpose positive 5 it will become negative 5 so after that subtract 61 minus 5 is equal to 56 then divide both sides by 7 so 7 divided by 7 will be cancelled out. So 56 divided by 7 will be equal to 8. So the common difference is equal to 8. Then after that, to compute the value of the arithmetic means, we will add the first term and the common difference to get the value of the second term. So the value of the first term is equal to 5 plus the value of the common difference which is equal to 8. So 5 plus 8 will be equal to 13. So the second term is equal to 13. And then we will repeat the process. We will add the value of the second term with the value of the common difference. So 13 plus 8 will be equal to 21. And then again, repeat the steps. 21 plus 8 will be equal to 29. And then to get the value of the fifth term, we will add the value of the fourth term, 29 plus 8 which is equal to 37. And then to get the value of the sixth term, we will add the value of the fifth term plus the common difference, 37 plus 8, which is equal to 45. And then last one, to get the value of the seventh term, add the value of the sixth term, which is equal to 45 plus the common difference, which is equal to 8. So 45 plus 8 is equal to 53. So the 6 arithmetic means between 5 and 61 is 13, 21, 29, 37, 45, and 53. So let's now have our second example. Insert 5 arithmetic means between 66 and negative 6. So we'll write 66 and negative 6 and then we will insert 
5 blanks between 66 and negative 6. And then after that, we will identify the given. So A sub 1 will be equal to 66. So the value of the first term is equal to 66. A sub n, which is the last term, is equal to negative 6. And then n will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are 7 terms in the given sequence. And then we will solve for the value of the common difference. So we will use the formula of the sequence a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times the common difference. And then we will substitute the value a sub n or the last term is equal to negative 6 equals the value of the first term which is equal to 66 plus the value of n which is equal to 7 minus 1 times d. So bring down negative 6 equals 66 plus 7 minus 1 is equal to 6 and then 6 times d is equal to 6d and then bring down 6d. Negative 6 bring down and then 66 transpose positive magiging negative 66 and then after that 6d will be equal to negative 66 plus negative 6 is equal to negative 72 and then divide both sides by 6 so 6 divided by 6 will be equal to 1 negative 72 divided by 6 will be equal to negative 12 so the value of the common difference is equal to negative 12 now to solve for the arithmetic means we will add the value of the first term plus the value of the common difference so in this case we will add 66 plus negative 12 which is equal to positive 54. So the value of the second term is equal to 54. And then to get the value of the third term, we will add the value of the second term plus the value of the common difference. So 54 minus 12 will be equal to 42. And then we will add the value of the third term plus the common difference. So 42 plus negative 12 is equal to 30. So that will be the value of the fourth term. And then to get the value of the fifth term, repeat the steps. We will add the value of the fourth term plus the common difference of 30 plus negative 12 is 18. And then last one, the value of the sixth term, add the fifth term plus the common difference. 18 plus negative 12 is equal to 6. So the value of the sixth term is 6. So the five arithmetic means between 66 and negative 6 is 54. 42, 30, 18, and 6. So let's now have our last example. So we have the first term is blank. And then we will insert uh, three arithmetic means between 3 over 2 and 19 over 2. So we will identify the given. So the first term will be 3 over 2. So a sub 1 will be equal to 3 over 2. And then after that, the last term is equal to 19 over 2. So to get the value of n, we will start counting on the second term. So we will start at 3 over 2. So this one will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So n will be equal to 5. And then after that, we will compute for the value of the common difference. Using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times the common difference. Then we will substitute. So the value of the last term is equal to 19 over 2 equals the value of the first term which is equal to 3 over 2 plus quantity the value of n is 5 and then minus 1 times the common difference. And then bring down 19 over 2 equals 3 over 2, 5 minus 1, 4 times d is 4d. So bring down 4d equals 19 over 2, then 3 over 2 positive transpose it will become negative. So it will become negative 3 over 2, then bring down 4d, and then 19 minus 3 is equal to 16 over 2, then 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8. Then divide it both sides by 4. 
So D will be equal to 2. So the common difference will be equal to 2. Now to solve for the value of the arithmetic means, so let's compute first for the value of the first term. So to get the value of the first term, we will subtract the value of the common difference from the value of the first term. So it will be 3 over 2 minus 2. So the value of the first term will be equal to negative 1 half. Then after that, to get the value of the third term, we will add the second term plus the common difference. So 3 over 2 plus 2 will be equal to 7 over 2. And then to get the value of the fourth term, we will add the value of the third term, which is equal to 7 over 2, plus the value of the common difference, which is equal to 2. So 7 over 2 plus 2 is equal to 11 over 2. And then after that, we will solve for the value of the fifth term. So we will add the value of the fourth term plus the value of the common difference. 11 over 2 plus 2 will be equal to 15 over 2. Thank you.